all right welcome back so the next thing i want to show you guys is something called move to origin now this has to do with all the geometry that you have on your screen so it is not just one little geometry that you're moving say basically you created your part it's all done the geometry wise i'm talking about and you want to move it now you want to move basically one corner of that to the origin so this is where this comes in handy so this is going to be under transform and move to origin right here so if you select that it will automatically select all your geometry. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So this is just one geometry, and I will show you multiple geometries in a little bit. The next thing, it will ask you to select a point to translate from. So it's already gonna move something or the geometry to the origin, but what do you wanna move to the origin? So let's go ahead and say, I wanna move this corner. Go ahead and select that corner, and that's all it is. It moves that geometry to this corner right here. Now, if you say you want to move it to this corner being the origin, go ahead and select move to origin again and select this corner and it will move it for you. But now let's go ahead and say you have multiple geometries. So I'm going to go to wireframe and select maybe another circle right here, another line, for example, right here. Okay. So now that I'm done, let's go ahead and say, I want to move the center of the circle to the origin. I will go back to transform, move to origin, and you see how all your geometry is selected. So you can't just move one little thing to the origin. You have to move all of them. So go ahead and select the middle of your circle and zoom out and you will notice that it basically moves everything together, but it will make the origin right at that center of that circle. So it's a very, very easy feature to use, basically moving the geometry, especially when you're done creating your wireframe and before creating the operations. Now, you can still move it after creating the operations, but usually you create the geometry or the wireframe and then you want to move it so it relates to the origin somehow. And that's how you would use the feature.